Well, you know, do you know that cybercrime is becoming a growing problem in Fiji? Cybercrime is defined as a crime in which a computer is the object of the crime, such as hacking and spam. Cybercrime is also cyberbullying and using fake profiles to cause panic and spread false news. If you're involved in this or know anyone who's committing these crimes, report them immediately. I'm Polly. And I'm Peter. We host the Traffic Jam Show on City FM. From 3 p.m. to 7 p.m. every weekday. Do, do the, the right, right thing. In this bulletin, $4 million recovery plan approved. Puna, the new PIF General Secretary. And $147 million damage to agriculture sector. The studios of FBC Suva. Cabinet has approved a crop rehabilitation and recovery plan worth more than $4 million for cane farmers in Vonwalevu, whose farms were affected by tropical cyclone Yasa. The plan will be funded from the Ministry of Sugar Industries 2020 to 2021 approved budget. Permanent Secretary for the Sugar Industry, Yogesh Karun, says under the plan there will be five main activities. This includes the supply of 34,236 bags of blend sea fertilizers, supply of 26, 104 litres of amine and 26,104 kg of Duron widicides and also the provision of 50 hectares of slashing to assist farmers with slashing damaged crops. Karen adds the drainage works of 195,213 meters of infill drainage and replanting of crops, which will be done in two stages, are also part of the plan. He goes on to say that under the replanting activity, the first stage will begin from next month, October, and the second stage will be from August to October. And the Fiji Roads Authority is looking to construct a new bypass road at Korosomo Hill near Sianganga. FRA has approached landowners to seek permission to construct the new road beside the current slip site. Eleanor Turangaivi reports. It's the second major slip to happen on the same stretch of road at Korosomo Hill near Sianganga. This time around, the Fiji Roads Authority is seeking to build a replacement road beside the slip. They came and did a civil asking that they build a road there. They have taken down our pine trees and they intend to build a road that will make access much more convenient. Fiji Roads Authority Acting Chief Executive Officer Kamal Prasad confirming to FBC News they have cleared the site and the groundworks continued today. We're just working on it now, uh, on plates, uh, to get the thing uh, I started in the clear, today doing survey and design, so tomorrow we should be running there full swing. The major slip runs for almost 160 meters on Korosomo Hill along Cross Island Road, which connects Lambasa to Savu Savu and Nambawalo. For the time being, while the road is closed, an alternative route is being used by cars and buses. For us, if we want to go to Lombasa, we will walk kilometers this way to Korobo to catch the bus to Lombasa because this road is closed and no vehicle comes this way. Motorists intending to use this alternative route should be ready for a longer travel time. You will be traveling for almost 30 kilometers with almost triple the travel time that it normally takes from here, Tambia, to Sianganga. Eleanor Turanga, I view FBC News. Prime Minister Vurangi Bani Marama has welcomed former Prime Minister of the Cook Islands Henry Poonis' appointment as the new Secretary General of the Pacific Islands Forum. In his congratulatory tweet, Bani Marama highlighted that Puna has Fiji's unwavering support as the new SG. Bani Marama says he has known Puna as a fellow champ for the fight against climate change and more recently as a strong voice for the revival of tourism in the Pacific. He adds it is a time for unity and collective action and the forum will continue to be a place where leaders strengthen bonds and develop strategies for development, peace and prosperity. The Prime Minister says he trusts that Puna will be a tireless advocate for our people and a positive force for regional unity. Puna will be replacing Dave McDayla, who has served in the role for over six years. The damage bill from tropical cyclone Yasa that ravaged the agriculture sector stands at around $147 million. Ministry of Agriculture Permanent Secretary Ritesh Das has confirmed that a total of 25,000 households were impacted. Das says of these, 
3,000 households were solely dependent on agriculture. He adds the impact of food security will be temporary, which is expected after any pandemic or disaster. Assessment has now got us that information uh, in terms of, you know, which households do we target uh, in terms of, you know, their vulnerability. Uh, so that's been mapped out and our recovery uh, activities, you know, will be commenced you know, very soon, uh, as soon as the situation allows. The second witness in the murder trial of 21-year-old Say Losinai Valrua told the court yesterday he had advised the accused to inform police regarding his stolen mobile phone. Security officer Jeremiah Naivalvo testified he was on duty at a poultry farm in Dolisuva the day Naivalrua allegedly murdered his 40-year-old co-worker David Angolumbau. Apenisa Wangarandovo reports. The security officer said Naval Rua told him that Ngalombula was the last person in the company's changing room and may have taken his phone. The witness says he then told Naval Rua to inform his boss or the police regarding his claim. He says 10 minutes later he heard a scream for help and ran towards the chicken shed only to see that Naval Rua was holding a cane knife over the victim. He says the victim was struggling to protect his head. He testified a co-worker shouted out for Naival Rua to stop, and when Naival Rua left the scene, they ran to the victim, whose left hand had been severed. He was taken to the super private hospital, where he died two days later. Sailosi Naival Rua is on bail as he attends his trial in the super high court. Apenis Wangardovu, FBC News. Businesses in the capital have noticed a significant drop in sales as Fijians are diverting finances towards essential items following the recent cyclones. Business owners say they were recording average sales since the beginning of the year. However, these dropped after tropical cyclone Anna. Most of these businesses were struggling from the impact of COVID-19 and this has been made worse by the recent cyclones. They are now stocking up necessary items such as school supplies, hoping they will earn a few bucks as students will return to school next week. Business for now is very slack and uh, due to the COVID, we have uh, uh, affected a lot and now due to the cyclone, it's affecting. And we have been very excited, like uh, it was a very good um, uh, response last two weeks ago because there was no sign of cyclone but um, uh, this week has been quite weak uh, starting from last week of course the health ministry is prioritizing the sanitation of evacuation centers to ensure there is no disease outbreak the ministry has deployed officials to various evacuation centers to conduct assessment as well Health Minister Dr. Ifiremi Wangarambete says schools are also being disinfected so that there are no health threats to students starting on Monday next week. We pick up uh, our Fijians who may be sick in the evacuation centre because in the evacuation centre, uh, uh, you know, the um, people are maybe living uh, quite close to one another. There may not be uh, appropriate social distancing, communicable disease, are, uh, are, uh, they have a... Uh, a slightly higher chance of actually being propagated. School managements are encouraged to play an active role and put proper health measures in place to safeguard students' health. Up ahead, fire ready for uprising sevens. And quick fix for up to the Combo Park. Stay with us. Despite having to work during the height of tropical cyclone Anna, the fire team is confident of giving their best at the mobile, mobile uprising sevens tournament. The postponement of the tournament has given all teams ample time to prepare, but for the servicemen, it wasn't the case. Manager Ifiremi Vesikula says service to Fijians is always first priority for them, but the players have managed to balance things out. From that, we've uh, managed to put in some uh, uh, training days and training hours which uh, so far has been uh, uh, very positive. 
uh, and we've uh, trying to build up from where we left off uh, during the series. School rivalry is a factor that fields a highly competitive spirit amongst athletes. Athletics Fiji Development Officer Antonio Rambuoliku believes this year's school competition will be special compared to previous years. He says if the games go on, it will show the resilient spirits that athletes have to compete in the national stage despite the devastation caused by the recent cyclones and the pandemic. We really love the participation and that is the most important part. And apart from that, the competitions, you know, uh, this uh, school rivalry and um, it, it's it's fun for us to uh, to be looking into uh, 2021 in a new dimension after we we missed a lot of things in 2020. The cost for a temporary fix of Nosaurus Road to the Campbell Park is around $150,000. The venue suffered significant damage during tropical cyclone Anna last weekend. Minister for Local Government Pramila Kumar says it will be a quick solution in order to keep the park in operation. Kumar also says they only have seven years of lease remaining for the park and they need to strategize before making any decisions. A heavy rain alert is in effect for Vanuwalevu and Taviuni. Low pressure to the north of Fiji is expected to bring rain to most of the country over the next few days. Fine weather can be expected in all other major centres today with chances of some showers later in the afternoon. And that's FBC Morning News. Join us at 7pm for our major bulletin. And remember for news you can trust, get the facts from FBC's TV, radio and digital news at fbcnews.com.fj. Take care and good morning. हमारे खूबसूरत देश फिजी में चाइल्ड अब्यूज की घटनाएं आए दिन बढ़ रही हैं। क्यों बच्चों का मासूम बचपन अब्यूज का शिकार हो जाता है अपने बच्चों की सुरक्षा का खास ख्याल रखें। उनसे बातचीत करें उनके दोस्तों के बारे में जानें। आज के बच्चे देश का भविष्य है मैं दीप्ति और मैं मोनिश आपके हम सफर शामिल हो जाए हमारे साथ मंडे टू फ्राइडे फाइव फोर्टी फाइव आई तक रेडियो फिजी टू देश की धड़कन आरोप